Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am joined with a very, very special guest. Um, introduce yourself. So I'm actually joined with cool. so I actually am alone for the very first time in two weeks and it feels great. It feels, it feels great. Fortunately for you guys, uh, I am on my own, which means I obviously am entertaining you guys on my ones and I feel like when I do do collaborate, do do, you know, when I do my various collaborations, you know, I feel like they steal my mojo a little bit. They steal my flow and they try and pretend to be me because obviously I'm the most charismatic, funny guy there is on YouTube. Did I I get that, but I'm like, guys, piss off. You've already got your own YouTube channel to ruin. Don't come and ruin mine, do you know what I mean? I was like, who the f*** do you think you are? I will fly kick you through this window in a minute. <sighs> okay, I'll address the elephant in the room. I feel like you guys haven't noticed by yourself, but I feel like, you know, I've got to give you a helping hand. Um, but have you noticed anything different about me recently? I'm going to give you a bit of a tip. Um... <sighs> You can't notice anything. You, you haven't. Are you f***ing blind? Are you f***ing blind? I like your cut, G. Oh my God, I need to slap myself back to my mum's womb. So today I'm answering questions that you girlies are too afraid to ask us guys, okay? So I am exposing the boys, which is probably not a good look, but I'm doing it for you. Right? I'm doing it for you girlies, so please, Please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go straight on to it. Actually, no, we are not going straight onto the video because over like 85% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed yet, and I'm not having it. I'm not having it. All it takes is for you to click that subscribe button and you can help James continue his career of being a obnoxious YouTuber. Many other people on this platform don't deserve their following like Belle Priestley, Isabella Hill, they don't deserve their thousands of followers because their content is shit. But James, on the other hand, it's like the Mona Lisa, but in video format. I would almost say it's all but I'll probably get demonetized. So just from as little as one subscriber per viewer, you can help James take over the titans such as Belle Priestley, Isabella Hill, and become the better, more appreciative YouTuber. Thank you. I'm gonna try not to joke around too much because I'm a bit of a joker. I'll stop it. I'll, I'll st stop it. Stop, stop it. And stop it. Stop it. Making a YouTube video, right? Stop with the clapping. Clap your mum's cheeks in a minute. Um, <laughs> my God. How the hell do you get out of the friend zone? Listen to me clearly. Get your pen and paper out, all right? Ready to hear this. <clears throat> You can't. What's your titty size preference? I'm pretty sure my mum's in the bath, which is like the next door. So I'm pretty sure she can hear me talking about girls' tits right now, which is what you want. No boob is too big, no titty is too small. Um, and I feel, <laughs> I prefer smaller boobsicles, really. Um, I don't know why. A nice handful's good. Okay, every boy has their preference. Like boys like big bums, small bums, big small bums, but it doesn't actually matter. This is the best analogy I can give for you from a guy's point of view. Imagine you're playing Clash of Clans, you know, you can play it on its own without the add-ons, completely fine, you enjoy the game, and that's that's all that matters really. But if you've got that £1.99 bundle, you know, it makes a game just a tad more enjoyable. But after those £1.99 gems go, you realise maybe I shouldn't have done that because I just wasted two pounds and now I've just got the same game as I did beforehand. What I mean by that is, you know, a guy might be like, oh, you know, I love a girl with a big bunda still. You meet a girl, she might not have the biggest bunda on the block. However, she's got a great personality and that's all that matters. Do you guys prefer cute or sexy? Both. Cute in the day, you know, little, little, at night, just a ravenous monster. What is your favourite thing girls wears? By the way, I love your TikToks. Thank you, I do appreciate that. I love it when a girl wears headscarves, bandanas, cute. They're, they are really nice, angelic. You know, I do think they're very beautiful and I- Fishnets! Does it sink or float in the bath? It, it, it floats. It floats. It, it floats, it floats. Do you actually care about things like thigh gaps and flat stomachs? I have never, ever, 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 ever have ever noticed if a girl has a thigh gap or not. That doesn't even cross my mind. That does, 
What is what is a thigh gap? Do you know what I mean? Flat stomachs don't bother me at all. I don't think they bother any guy. I feel like, again, it's just a self-love thing and I don't have a body that I'm happy with, you know? I am slowly getting there and working out and stuff and eating well. Fuck, I hate boys, man. Does it bother you how long a girl wait to do the deed from when you start seeing them? If, if, whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounds like a lightsaber. I can do the best Chewbacca impression. What I was trying to get at is that it's a major red flag, major red flag. If a guy's gonna be like, Oi Stacy, what are you saying still? It's been like two months and you haven't given me sloppy top. You guys are an uckers, you're an uckers. If a guy's gonna do that, just, just have him like that. Just, just smack him in the jaw, do you know what I mean? There's not really much else to, to do. And the same goes for a girl. Don't smack a girl, but what I'm saying is if a girl's gonna pressurize you to do something that you don't wanna do, don't do it. It's simple as that. It's your body, your your holy temple. So don't don't give in because a guy or girl wants you to do X, Y, and Z. And I'm putting my foot down on that. I don't wanna hear any of that. It's not nice. Just let them be ready when they're ready. No one's forcing anyone because that's not consensual. I really went for that, didn't I? Is it weird to like have a in between your legs or nah? My this is so small. It's actually inverted in me right now and it's gonna poke out my mouth in a little bit. Um, <laughs> you just can't feel it. You're so used to it. I've had it for 20 years. It's just like gone numb. I'm gonna see if I can channel. Can I feel it right now? No, I just can't. No, I don't even. You're making me overthink. You're making me feel weird. Stop it. Do you like being called daddy? That's the sticky one still. It hasn't happened a lot, but when it does, it like catches me off guard. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> say less. I'm not like that. I, I don't know, I freak out. It's it only happened like twice. Uh, it just makes me feel a bit weird. Uh, maybe the right person uh, and the right time it might, but I don't, it, I don't know, I probably know. I don't like it really. Some guys like it. I don't, no, actually, I think it's a myth. I think it's a myth. I don't think guys like it. Do you actually cry in a breakup? Because I've been told half of you don't care. I have not cried over a breakup. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's not like I don't care, but I've had personal reasons why I broke up with both of my exes and I initiated it. And I almost felt relief afterwards um, for me and them. So I wasn't upset. I was more like, okay, now this is done, move on. I don't dwell on it too much. Um, is that psychopathic? Maybe. Do I regret it? No. So, yeah. Do you like it when girls play with their hair? I like it when a girl plays with my hair and tickles my back. So, um, I don't think a girl's ever been near me when, <laughs> oh. Puppy James. It's just not happened, it hasn't happened, and it probably will never happen. So I'm gonna say, if it happened, cool, but it hasn't happened, so no. Have you ever questioned your sexuality? Simple answer, no. I think people like to question my own sexuality because of what I wear and how I act sometimes. People are like, oh, you know, this, this boy's a bit sus. Oh, oh, he's definitely bi, oh, he's gay. And it's like, well, no, I can wear pearls. I've got a pearl bracelet on right now. I've got a pearl necklace on right now. And people are like, oh, that's that's so gay. And I feel like, why are you throwing that word around like that? And secondly, um, no, it's not. I don't think really clothes have a gender. Do you know what I mean? I can wear whatever I want to wear. If I'm happy and I look good, then it's cool. So, um, yeah. What is it like having a schlong? I do struggle with having a mighty horse. It, um... <laughs> do you guys get conflicted about liking a girl if she's much younger? <laughs> How much younger are we talking? Like, uh, Tony Lopez? younger or like a year or two. I would only ever date someone who's two years younger than me because I'm not a ass, all right? I am not, I'm 20 years old, I only date an 18 year old. Um, but I feel like for me, they've got to be younger than me or the same age, I don't know. I just like being the more mature one sometimes. And I am, Isabella, I am the more mature one. So I know you're watching, I am way more mature than you. Don't even question it, I am. Is asking a girl out actually as scary as my guy makes say it is or are they just wimps? Wimps. I mean, you got one shot. Basically, you're gonna die this year. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna die this lifetime. You're gonna die, all right? So you might as well just shoot your shot. And if they say no, they say no, but you're gonna live your life with regret. So, um, God, my mum must think I'm so inspirational right now. When you see your girl hurt, do you hurt? Like, does it emotionally affect you? It does. I don't like it when I see, um, you know, my girlfriend upset. It's just, especially if you up. If 
you don't, if you if you upset them, that's not a good. It's not a good sign. It's not a good look on you, mate. I don't like seeing Isabella stressed, upset, anything like that, because I feel like it's annoying that I can't be there to help. And sometimes you just can't help. But I don't like it, not being being there to give her a hug or something like that. Just the simple things. So it hurts me in that sense. It's like, I just want to do something and just get a mind off it, especially if you're stressing out. Like, I just want to be there to take a mind off it. And sometimes you just can't do that. Um, and yeah, so yeah. Why is my bleeding? I have so many questions right now. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you guys want to be involved in my next YouTube video, then please follow my Instagram because I do do a lot of stories that are like, oh, send us questions for this video, send us questions for that video. So please do get involved and follow the Instagram. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Love, live, life, and Jesus. Peace.